In the past six months, we've had two new Hornady cartridges, both in 22 caliber, but one of them isn't getting the marketing love it deserves. In today's video, we are comparing 22 Creedmoor versus 22 Arc. In the late summer of 2023, the 22 Creedmoor, which has been a wildcat for some time now, officially became a Sammy Speck cartridge. In front of me, on the left is a 6.5 Creedmoor. I apologize, I don't have a 22 Creedmoor. But on the right is a 22-250 Remington. So the 22 Creedmoor is just a neck down 6.5 Creedmoor. And I've always had the opinion the 6.5 Creedmoor is very meh. The 6mm Creedmoor is better. But I think the 22 Creedmoor is pretty sweet. It mimics 22-250 Remington velocities, actually probably a little bit more. I think there is a little bit more case capacity. And it has the high BC bullets, the twist rate to be able to do it. I actually think it's the best Creedmoor. Last week at SHOT Show on Range Day, I got to shoot the 22 Creedmoor for the very first time. It was pretty sweet. I shot it out to 400 yards, and it was extremely accurate. Oh, you're the only person today that shot that. That first one on the, on the logo, so. I would show you the history of the 22 Creedmoor. It's it's kind of different. So Horizon Firearms builds the first 22 Creedmoor, which I'm sure they just necked down a six millimeter or a six five millimeter. And throughout the years, they start to launch stuff. Uh, in 2020, Hornady releases 22 Creedmoor head stamp brass. Um, other people are starting to make ammo for it. And then finally, in 2023, Hornady submits to Sammy and sells ammo exclusively through Horizon. So there's just this weird little deal. Uh, I think it's, it's technically a Hornady cartridge, but it's released by Horizon. Kind of different. Let's take a look at the load data for the 22 Creedmoor. We are on the Hodgdon website. Interestingly enough, Hornady has not provided load data for the 22 Creedmoor. We're going to talk a little bit about how Hornady's kind of treating the 22 Creedmoor as their redheaded stepchild for some reason. But let's go ahead and look at the data. Let's see here. Stable HD with a 77 grain bullet with a 24 inch barrel, almost 3300 feet per second. And then with a lot of the other powders, you're seeing a few like Superformance and H48 or Superformance does get you over 3,300 feet per second. This thing is pretty sweet. Let's talk about Hornady's lack of support for the 22 Creedmoor. Now I went to SHOT Show last week, went to the Hornady booth, got to talk with Seth, look around, and there, from what I could see, there was zero marketing for the 22 Creedmoor. What they had focused on was the 22 Arc, one of the new Varmint ELDX bullets, and then, of course, the 7PRC. So why is Hornady neglecting the 22 Creedmoor? Honestly, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments what you think. I think it has to do with it, the 22 Creedmoor is kind of a barrel burner. I'm not sure. A couple years ago, Hornady released the 6mm arc, and it's been very successful. It is really primarily for a gas gun. So here's the data for a gas gun. But the 6 arc is efficient, very light recoiling, shooting decently high BC bullets. So what they did was they roughly just necked down a 6 arc down to 22. Now there is a little differences between a six arc and a 22, but they're very similar. What it really gives you is you're shooting the same bullet weights with higher BC. Now 
The barrel life for the 22 arc isn't going to be as good as a 6 arc, but it certainly is going to beat the 22 Creedmoor for barrel life. Thank goodness for Hodgdon because we do have some load data for the 22 arc. Uh, 22 arc is pretty new, so well, I think we'll see some load data soon from Hornady for the 22 arc. This one's also with the 24 inch barrel, same exact bullet, 77 grain. And what we're looking at is high 2,900 feet per second. Doesn't look like it breaks 3,000. So it's about 400 feet per second slower, maybe 350 feet per second slower than a 22 Creedmoor. But uh, still really good performance. Let's go ahead and look at the 22 arc ballistic data. We're going to use a 75 grain ELDM. And this has a muzzle velocity of 3,075 feet per second with 15 75 foot pounds of energy and we are just going to take this out to 400 yards um yeah it has potential to be a really long distance cartridge uh but we'll just use 400 bullets going 2300 feet per second 882 foot pounds not that that really matters for this uh the drift this is in a 10 mile per hour wind 10.8 inches of drift 23.6 inches of drop this is pretty flat Close to 7 rem mag flatness, you could say. Let's look at the 22 Creedmoor Ballistics now with the exact same 75 grain ELDM. With a muzzle velocity of 3350, this is very much kind of uh, guessing. Uh, who knows? Hopefully we get more data in the future. 1,869 foot-pounds, so already 300 more foot-pounds over the 22 ARC. Out to 400 yards, the bullet's going 200 feet per second faster and about 200 more foot-pounds. Again, doesn't really matter with the 22 Creedmoor. Wind drift is a little bit better, 9.6, and then the drop about 4 inches less. The 22 Creedmoor is pretty darn flat shooting. So let's say you're in the market for a new 22 cartridge that you want to use for varmint, maybe even a little bit of long-distance shooting. Which one would you choose? Well, I think it really depends. Are you wanting it in a bolt gun or a gas gun? Personally, my preferred choice is, well, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think I'd pick a Creedmoor over the 22 Arc. Uh, I, I like bolt guns a little bit more, and I obviously like velocity a lot more, so I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm actually picking a Creedmoor cartridge over something else. However, with that being said, it seems like Hornady is going to support the 22 arc a bit more. They, for whatever reason, have chosen the 22 arc to be the cartridge to get instead of the 22 Creedmoor. So if you're worried about factory ammo and the rifles that you could get it in, I'd probably get a 22 arc. Uh, I think it's just going to have more support.